I'd like to spend a few minutes and talk about storytelling with Insight Maker. Insight Maker is a free web-based modeling and simulation environment where you can develop qualitative or quantitative uh, dynamic models and once you've developed them to share them with someone else all you have to do is send them the URL because it's everything is on the web there's nothing to download and install on your system now the the learning thread here is intended to teach you about the storytelling features of Insight Maker, which are extremely powerful, so that you can use the storytelling features to unfold a qualitative model. Notice that the description of the loops are being described at the bottom as I walk through and unfold it. The, um, the description of this story that's behind this is not long and actually not very complicated, but it's just a series of, of commands that tells it to, to show certain stuff and, and display notes. The, there's also the option to take this kind of an unfolding and actually convert it into an HTML page so that someone doesn't have to actually walk through the model. They can simply read through the document and it unfolds the model the same way that it was done uh, by clicking through it. And, and that's done by simply selecting publish article and, and it does it automatically. There is also a, an extremely rich API for Insight Maker, uh, tons of direct access into the code to manipulate models beyond what you can do on the screen directly. And you can use them in the storytelling so that you can actually, um, in addition to unfolding dynamic models, you can actually run them, change the parameters in the background, and run them over and over again so that if you want to show different aspects of a simulation, rather than having to change the values and change the values, you can simply set them up ahead of time. Because if you look at the story behind this in storytelling mode, you'll see that here it goes ahead and sets up a set of values and then it runs the simulation and shows a message. And then it changes some values and runs the simulation and shows a message. This That set of APIs is all, can also be used to develop scenarios so that if you want to simply, rather than unfold in storytelling, to simply dis display or demonstrate aspects of a particular model, you can set the code up in a, in a button so that when you click on the button, it actually runs that that code that you've defined for each one of these. If I go ahead and open this and click on this button and then click here, you can see this is the set of code, the API code that's actually inside of this button so that when I click on the button, it runs that API code to go ahead and set those parameters and then simulate this particular model. So all of that is in here and once you finish the video if you start with nature of the beast each segment uh, has a description and a video that you can watch that explains that particular aspect of storytelling and then you can click in the background or hit the tab key and it will close it's expanded to full screen just so it's easier to read the images um, documenting a model you can watch the video on that and all of the the models that are used for demonstration in the learning thread are accessible. They're there on links so that you can go ahead and access them. You And for any model in Insight Maker, if you find that it's a good basis for doing something else, you can clone the model and make a copy of it that belongs to you. And then you own it and you can do anything you want to with it. So. Um, Walk through it from the beginning to unfolding the model in simplistic form. And then it talks about using the API to do scenarios and advanced storytelling, publishing articles, and um, the way that I use Insight Maker to set up stories to do videos. So hope you find it informative and useful, and I'll see you in another perspective soon. Bye.